Good morning and welcome to Recruit Training Command at Naval Station Great Lakes, the quarter deck of the Navy. I am Rear Admiral Craig Mattingly, Commander of Naval Service Training Command. I want to personally welcome you to our Navy family. What an exciting day. Family, friends, and shipmates, it is an honor to have you with us as we celebrate the graduation of our newest United States Navy sailors. It seems just like yesterday, I was graduating boot camp and it meant the world to me to have my family and friends sitting in the audience just like you. I wanna take a moment to thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these sailors before you. Your support, your encouragement, and your love help them reach this time-honored tradition. As we look upon these young women and men, we see a transformation that took place over the past several weeks. They endured rigorous physical and mental training, pushing themselves to their limits and beyond. They learned the importance of teamwork, of discipline, and of dedication. They have become a proud part of our tradition of service to our nation. Each of these new sailors will play a critical role in fulfilling our Navy's mission. They will be stationed around the world serving on ships, on submarines and aircraft, protecting our nation and our allies. Your sailor will make a positive impact on the world. They will be ambassadors of our country, representing the best of what America has to offer. They will be leaders, they will be mentors, and they will be role models for others to follow. And as we celebrate this graduation, let us remember the sacrifices that were made to get us here. Let us honor the commitment and the dedication of these new sailors. And let us look forward to the bright future that lies ahead, knowing that our nation is in great hands. Thank you, thank you for playing a significant role in the lives of these recruits. And I warmly welcome you to our Navy family. Enjoy the ceremony and celebrate your sailor. Thank you.
As the parade graduates approaches, we salute the states and territories whose sons and daughters will graduate today. Delaware, Pennsylvania, New Jersey, Georgia, Connecticut, Massachusetts, Maryland, South Carolina, New Hampshire, Virginia, Kentucky, Tennessee, Ohio, Louisiana, Indiana, Mississippi, Illinois, Alabama, Maine, Missouri, State, flags, order, arms. And now we invite you to join the staff of the group training command in welcoming the graduating divisions with your applause as they enter the midway ceremony of the hall and are announced in the following order.
For the remainder of the review, no one will be permitted to pass in front of the room stand. And we ask that the courtesy to our review officer. Photography is certainly encouraged, but we ask that you remain seated in all 
the drill of the photographer will see your deck go out with you are the official titles of a crew trained command. Command, command, command. 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 command
Petty Officer First Class, Raven Smith. Petty Officer Second Class, Ashley Leroy. And their crew chief petty officer, Fireman Taylor Towns from Portsmouth, Virginia. Division 251. Commanding Officer, Petty Officer, Mary Mahan. 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 Petty Officer, and their are Christian Petty Officer, Seaman DeAndre Crowder from Columbus, Ohio. Division 252. Two. 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 Commanding Officer, Chief Petty Officer, Erickson Elam. Petty Officer First Class, John Hosey. Petty Officer Second Class, Nicholas Garcia. And their Petty Officer, Airman John Zarada Rodriguez from Hawthorne, California. Division 253. Commanding Petty Officer Second Class, Shane Smith. Petty Officer Second Class, Ethan Fleming. And their Petty Officer, Seaman Madison Davis from Newport, New York, Virginia. Division 254. Commanding Rod, Petty Officer Second Class, Ashley Ford. Petty Officer Second Class, William Wentworth. And their Petty Officer, Seaman Solo Lopez Lazo from Lancaster, California. Division 255. Commanding Rod, Chief Petty Officer, Joshua Rabara Ray. Petty Officer First Class, Ryan Moulter. Petty Officer First Class, Nicholas Santos. And their Petty Officer, Seaman Jerome Tan from Detroit, Michigan. Division 940. Commander 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 Chief Petty Officer Tiffany Baker. Petty Officer First Class Randall True. Petty Officer First Class Dakota Saunders. And their Chief Petty, Petty Officer Airman Jamal Bolton from Charleston, South Carolina. On behalf of the Commanding Officer and Staff of Crew Training Command, Congratulate these division commanders and recruit chief petty officers on a job well done. In a moment, you will see the ceremony sidelines, both and, and all of them, take their places, places for a round of honors. This, this time of our tradition is our formal reading to this morning's officer. officer. One, One such tradition is the gun salute. salute. A gun, gun salute is used, used to mark an event or to render honor. Today's, Today's reading officer will receive a round of honors to include a 13 gun salute. salute. When requested by the announcer, please stand to be a round of honors, march on the colors, national anthem, and the location. As a reminder, military guests shall remain covered throughout the entire graduation ceremony. And ladies and gentlemen, one final note. As a fitting and important of this occasion, our ceremony is conducted in a formal manner. However, we do encourage you to participate in today's graduation ceremony by letting your applause show you sailors just how proud of them you are. Once again, welcome aboard.
have remained standing within the rival of the official party.
present arms. Chaplain Thompson will offer this morning's invocation. Let us pray. Holy God, thank you for this day. Thank you for this opportunity to gather together as shipmates, families, and loved ones. As we congratulate our new sailors, we take this time to say thank you for being with them throughout the course of their instructions. Through good times and bad times, ups and downs, moments of frustration and moments of joy, we acknowledge that your grace and mercy has covered them throughout their training. We take pride in their development over these past weeks and look forward with great anticipation to the amazing things that they would do throughout their Navy careers. As they prepare to transition to the fleet, we ask that you would guide them, protect them, and keep them safe as they strive to be the men and women that you will have them to be, as well as the sailors that our country needs them to be. We ask that you will be with each and every person here today. Thank you for safe travel to this place, and thank you.
guests may be seated. At this point, the commanding officer would issue orders and instruction to the unit commanders. Then, the unit commanders would face about and relay the information to their divisions. Today's events show how orders are passed through the chain of command. Divisions! Report! Good morning, Captain. I present the graduating divisions. Request permission to commence the review. Good morning. Commence the review. Hi, right, sir.
very well. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the main court. System among individual recruits and divisions promotes teamwork, attention to detail, and pride in accomplishment. Divisions performing above standards throughout their training are awarded recognition flags in five mission areas. Academic achievement, military drill, compartment readiness, applications, and physical fitness. These flags are carried as a visible symbol of the division's success. Each flag indicates that your sailors individually and as teams met performance standards in one or more mission area events. A division that exceeds ba all basic requirements in these areas during their training qualifies as a battle efficiency division and is awarded the battle lead flag in recognition of their performance. 
Four divisions have earned this honor today, and we congratulate them on a job well done. Admiral Charcoal will now present this week's individual awards, and he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Froberg, and our guest of honor, Force Master Chief Mangle. It is our pleasure to recognize the review commander for today's ceremony, Airman Jamal Moultrie, Division 940, from Charleston, South Carolina. Throughout his training, Airman Moultrie has exhibited great pride in naval service and consistently demonstrated his potential as an effective leader. He has maintained a high standard professional appearance and displayed excellent military bearing and command voice. Congratulations on your outstanding achievement. Well done, sailor. For achieving the highest overall academic score during recruit training, Fireman Joseph Nolan, Division 940, from Oceanside, California, has earned the Academic Excellence Award, which is sponsored by the Fort Dearborn Chapter of the Illinois Society of the Sons of the American Revolution. Fireman Nolan receives a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, seller. For having displayed extraordinary qualities best expressing the American spirit of honor, initiative, and loyalty, Seaman Apprentice Cameron DeVere Jackson, Division 252 from Hampton, Virginia, is awarded the Navy League Award, which is sponsored by the Navy League of the United States. Seaman Apprentice DeVere Jackson is presented with a commemorative plaque and a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Airman Brittany Halls, Division 940, from Augusta, Georgia, is the winner of the United Service Organizations Award for best exemplifying the spirit and intent of the word shipmate. Airman Halls is given a commemorative plaque from the United Service Organizations. Well done, sailor. Seaman Jonathan Vega Nederong, Division 248 from Baltimore, Maryland, is the recipient of the Military Order of the World Wars Award of Merit. This award is presented for meritorious performance during recruit training. Seaman Vega Nederong is presented with a commemorative plaque from the Military Order of the World Wars. Well done, sailor. Morning, Force Master Chief. Thank you. 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 Thank
make it force press achieve. The Military Officers Association Leadership Award is presented to Seaman Esteban Sandoval, Division 248, from North Hollywood, California, for demonstrating exceptional tenacity and professionalism. Seaman Sandoval is awarded a letter of commendation from the commanding officer. Well done, sailor. Seaman Ann Holcomb, Division 940, from Wilmington, North Carolina, is the recipient of the Navy Club of the United States of America Military Excellence Award for best exemplifying the qualities of enthusiasm, devotion to duty, military bearing, and teamwork. This award places her at the pinnacle of today's newest sailors. She is awarded a flag letter accommodation. Seaman Holcomb, the staff of Recruit Training Command salutes you as the finest of group graduates. Well done, sailor.
the veterans in the audience already, each of you know exactly what I'm talking about. Each veteran's past journey of service to our great nation informs who they are and how they view life and the world around them. And each of you sailors in front of us are now another link in that never-ending change. Congratulations.
Churko will now receive the salute of the graduating divisions, and he will be joined on the drill deck by our commanding officer, Captain Froberg. Please remain seated until your graduates have been placed on liberty.
Please join me in one more round of appreciation for our wonderful musicians of Navy Band Great Lakes. Flags, post, section leaders, fall out and retrieve outer garments. Ladies and gentlemen, today is the only day for access to the Navy Exchange and photo pickup. Today and tomorrow, you can pick up your sailor at the Yorktown parking garage. Sailors going on Liberty without a vehicle are to exit gate eight toward the train station parking lot. Thanks again to each and every one of you for joining us on this most memorable of Navy days. And without further delay, now hear this, Liberty Call, Liberty Call.